Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women to create the relationship that they so want, need, and desire by giving them simple tips and strategies to implement into their life so they can create that special relationship. So now today we are going to talk about another juicy topic, ladies and gentlemen. So someone asked me the question, is it possible to have equal feelings in your relationship because usually one person likes the other person more or even loves the person more than the other person. So we're going to talk about it right after this. All right, fam. So thank you for coming back. Another thing that I forgot to mention, the additional question that they wanted to know is, so why does that occur and how can you put your same um, um, feelings on the same page as your partner? Of course, I have several reasons and several ways to do that, okay? So the very first one is the old sticky subject of sex. You both have to be willing to adjust and adapt to the other person's differences when it comes to sex because... One of you might want to have sex every day and the other person is like, nah, I'm a once a week or twice a week person. So what do you do? What do you do? Do you just dip on that person because they only want to give you sex twice a week? Or do you just dip on that person because they, they want to beat it up every day? What do you do? <laughs> yeah, I said that. Anywho, what do you do? There has to be some type of compromise, especially... If just about everything is going smoothly, and this is one of y'all main battles, but it's very few, meaning the, the large of y'all relationship, the entirety of you guys' relationship is just about cool. But this one thing, and this one thing could be any of the things that I'm about to mention, but this particular one that I'm talking about right now is sex, but it could be any of the examples I'm about to give. Your relationship is on point with the exception of this one thing, or even two things, maybe even three. So there has to be some type of compromise when it comes to the differences in each other's sex life, sex style, the amount of times that they want to do it, how they want to do it. You have to be able and willing to adapt and adjust to, it, to each other's sex life so you guys can be happy. No, he or she might not get it every day, no, you might not only get it once or twice a week, but somewhere in between there, y'all still can be happy. Y'all still building the intimacy, still building the connection, and still having a happy-go-lucky life together. The second way to make your feelings equal in the relationship is to definitely, when you guys disagree, to do just that. Disagree without hating one another, without Blaming one another. Discuss the issue. Y'all can have difference of opinion. Y'all can have different conclusions. But you don't have to hate each other or blame each other or, you know, yours is stupid and name. Co don't do that. It's not sexy. And it's definitely not the way to have a healthy relationship either. We create happy, healthy, romantic relationships here at I Love Me Me. Okay? The third way to be equal in your feelings for each other is to both of you make an effort to forgive as much as possible, as often as needed, even when it's hard, even when you're still pissed off. Let that stuff go, never to be brought up again. If you talk about the issue, you both say you're over it, literally both be over it. And if you need to take that to God so he can take it off your chest to let it go, then do just that. But don't hold on to it. And definitely do not be bringing up that old stuff. And ladies, you have a tendency to, I said you, I know I'm a lady too. Anywho, I don't do this, which is why I'm pointing the finger. You can't bring it up no more. You said you've forgiven him. Let it go. Take it to God. Take it to the altar. Pray that stuff up off of you. Up out of your heart. 
Okay, let it go. Let it go. Don't bring it up no more. Anywho, moving on. The fourth way to be equal in your feelings is to both commit to doing small gestures for one another. I always bring up the coffee or taking out the trash, but it could be anything. You know your boo like flowers, and there is just a beautiful rose bush outside. Whatever she like, whatever flower it is, right? But rose, okay? She like roses, and so there's a beautiful rose bush outside. Just take one rose. Cut one rose off of there and take it in the house and just let it know, hey, boo, I was thinking about you. Or... I brought, actually, I'll talk about me because I talked about my, um, he was my fiance at the time. But anyway, he liked this back scratcher, right? Literally, I was at the dollar store. I seen a back scratcher. I picked it up. He still used that back scratcher to this day. And it's been a few years since I got him that thing. And, he, and when he came find it, what my back scratcher? <laughs> what my back scratcher? So I think it's just funny, but it's just really, it is just the little small gestures. He brought it up one time because he would, you know, have me scratch his back. And I'm like, oh, I got other things to do. Love you. Got other things to do, though. But um, <laughs> So that is my way of him being able to scratch his own back when I'm busy. And I'm always busy. <laughs> but seriously, it really is the little things. You know that they like breakfast cooked for you. Again, for my relationship, my husband loves it when I cook breakfast, when I serve him because one of his love languages is acts of service. So he loves it when I do these things for him. I be tired. Sometimes I don't be want to do it. But I know that that is a part of his love language. And I want to make him happy. I want to see him happy. And so I do that for him whether I'm tired or not. It's the small gestures. It really is. The fifth way to bring about the possibility of the feelings being equal in your relationship is to Love all they flaws and quirks, even though they annoy the crap out of you. Yes, <laughs> they annoy the crap out of you. I'm telling you, I know, I know about this right here. <laughs> Some of these things be annoying the crap out of me. And literally, they have nothing to do with me, my opinion, my feelings. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It's all about what my boo want to do with the thing that I'm talking about. All right. We ain't going to go into it here. But <laughs> yes, yes, honey. He annoys me with some of his stuff. But guess what? I annoy him too. <laughs> but we love each other, right? But we both annoy the crap out of each other. But guess what? Anytime he gone and every time. I, yeah, you heard you like that. Anytime I'm gone and every time. <laughs> every time I'm gone from him, he is so happy when I come through the door. Now, sometimes he don't show it because he's playing that damn video game. Anywho, <laughs> but uh, but seriously, he loves it when I come back because I'm he's like, oh, I missed you. And of course, he's talking to the baby too, right? So I miss you guys, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, makes all the difference. Really does. Another way for you guys to be equal in your feelings for each other is to take turns if you guys have reached this stage but take turns in um choosing the vacation spots and don't let it always be like a her thing choosing or a him thing choosing you guys can choose together or you know what we both want to go here it's kind of a tie so this time you choose this spot guess what next time we're going here literally the relationship is constantly about a give and take that word compromise constantly because as much as you want to do everything that you want to do because you are your own person, you just want to do it, it don't work that way in a relationship. Sorry, bruh. Sorry, sis. Don't work that way. You have to give and take. It's not all about you. And when you think and when you start to make it all about you, guess what? Your relationship is going to crumble. Because nobody wants to feel like they are the second fiddle in your show. They don't. This next one is a big one. Yes, mainly for my fellas. Love you. But we need to help out some more with these household chores. Yes, we do. Because y'all know in this day and age, no matter where you at in the country, at least most, most countries. But anywho, the women work too now. We ain't at the house just rearing the kids and making sure the house is clean. Guess what? We out there working just as hard as you guys, just as long as you guys. And when we come back to the house, we love it to walk into a clean house not done by my hands. <laughs> Right? It really is the small things. I keep saying it's the small things. Please believe me. It's the small things. 
I've been away from the house all day, just like you. But when I come home, it's still the entire household is mine. Why? Bruh, tighten up on that. Tighten up on that. And the reason why I'm going hard to paint on that one is because I know that this one is super unequal and still in most households in 2019. Y'all got to tighten up on that. It really is the small things. Vacuum. It really is the small things. Clean up the bathroom. It really is the small things. Bathe the children. Feed the children. Comb the children's hair. I don't care what sex you are. We got to tighten up on this. Household chores, domestic duties. This is not all the woman's job. Stop thinking that. It's not. Yeah, making my eye. Got to keep making my eyes bigger and bigger. <laughs> Anywho, it's just a conversation that I still hear all the time. It's not like it's um, going away. And I do know some men are picking up and doing a lot better. But there are still so many more men out there that are not. So that one I will harp on a lot more times, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, another thing, I already mentioned it, but I'm going to mention it here again because the kids are the same way as the household chores in 2019. So I'm not going to harp on here because I did it in the last point. But yeah, tighten up on the kids too. It's not all the mom's responsibility. And I have to say it here again, especially for you guys who are finding my channel for the very first time. Women are not as in tune as you think you are to the kids. It seems that way. And this one is mainly for the men. It seems that way because the mom, the women, we do not have the option to walk away and go play the game. We do not have the option to not feed the kids. We do not have the option to just turn it all off. And so we don't. And because it seems like women are more in tune with their kids, they are. But it's because we practice it more. It's because we practice it more. We don't turn it off and then turn it on when we want to. When the kids are around and you are a mama, not every mom, most moms, kids on point. We know what's going on with them. We know that cry. Like my, my baby, she's a toddler right now. So I know the cry that she's doing because I'm always with her. I'm always doing. I'm always helping. But I see some men are in tune with their children like that as well. Because it can happen because they're practicing it. That is it. <laughs> yes, we have this innate thing as women. But guess what? You can practice it and build on your stuff just like I can. The final way to be equal in your feelings for your partner is to, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but it is to not make all the decisions single-handedly. Whether it's a vacation, whether it's a purchasing a big ticket item, whether it's moving, what the hell ever it is. Run it by your spouse. Run it by your partner. Especially if you guys are in the same household. Now, if you're buying a big ticket item and you guys are not at the very least engaged, meaning that you're about to really start your lives together, then that might be a different story. I get that. But if you guys are living in the same household, doesn't matter, married, boyfriend, girlfriend, doesn't matter. If y'all living in the same household, engaged, and definitely married, run that stuff by your spouse. It doesn't mean that you're trying to get permission. It is just you being respectful and thoughtful of your spouse's feelings, of your spouse's thoughts, and just of your spouse, period. All right, fam, so what did you think about the video? Definitely, let's continue the conversation down in the comment section below because you know, here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships because that's what we are creating here, right? <laughs> because we are trying to decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.